now we know much better the surface of the planet Mars than what lies beneath the marine waters. When we discovered the possibilities of remote sensing, of satellite imagery, this has completely changed the way we, we understood that we can work and better understand what's going on when we look at the evolution of the sea, of a coastal area or whatever. Because uh, satellite imagery opens a completely new universe in understanding how the ocean evolves. Danube Delta is a, uh, one of the youngest wetlands of Europe. It is the widest wetland. It's about 6,000 square kilometers of protected site, which is a nature reserve. So it's not developed, it's not um, uh, covered by roads. So access to the Delta itself has always been very difficult. So when we had tried to understand the vertical motion, so subsidence, it means uh, the vertical motion of the land, we were only able to get to very few points and not so often. So our cooperation with Terra Signa made us discover the SAR interferometry, which gave us a much more detail. It gives a completely different order of magnitude in understanding current phenomena. And this is for us extremely important because in this way, we can get to a much more detailed level of understanding of the natural phenomena occurring on um, this part of the Black Sea, as well as on the Danube and the Danube Delta. It's like a doctor who uses a stethoscope all his life and immediately gets to a tomograph. So it gives you a wealth of data and information we had never been able to understand before. For us, Terra Signa has been a beautiful surprise. It was a fantastic experience.